okay guys good morning good afternoon good evening to everyone thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for everything i can't meet to say good morning i can't miss to say hello to everyone and i can't miss to say thank you so much wherever you i appear here on this channel I must at least say that because I really appreciate your love. Whoever comes back to watch Masi Masi Falls video, mm, that is the love, okay? So I really appreciate. So wherever um, I start by saying hello, I start by saying thank you so much, I do really appreciate. And don't take, don't, take that moment for granted because there are so many people who are there and uh, really maybe some they have phones but they can spend the whole day without say seeing a hello message to their phones others are in certain places and they can spend a whole day without seeing someone passing by maybe to say hello to them so wherever I say hello, wherever I say good evening, good afternoon, that is the very moment I also have to appreciate my good people like you. So let us not always take anything for granted because others wish to have what you, what you have got, but they have no way on how they can get it. And uh, by the way, also others... They are also sick. They can't open their mouth to say hello. They can't say open their mouth to to say hi to someone. They can't open their eyes to to see a beautiful moment, to see the sunshine outside or to see the darkness outside. So who are we? Who are we really? Me, I do really appreciate. So on this video, I'm here to share with you my last moment or my last moments with you as I share with you on how I do iron clothes. Though some people always say that ironing clothes, it is the thing that really gives me headache. When it comes to ironing, uh, they don't really like ironing. But on my side, I can say ironing is the uh, best thing I can, I can really do. When I have organized myself in this way. So as you can see, um, I'm getting clothes from the rack. I washed them with a machine, but I decided to hang them outside. So I hanged those, those ones are pants, okay? And uh, the ones that I've already like uh, put in the basket are the t-shirts. So they, these are clothes that they do use inside the house. So when it comes to washing them, ironing them, it doesn't give so much headache, I think. Than those ones they do use like on functions, than those ones they do use when they are going outside. At times, some people, they do wash them within the house. Others, they decide to take them to the, uh, like they wash them outside the house, okay? Because not everything that we know how to wash them or how to handle them when it comes to clothes, some people are so sensitive with their clothes. So as you have seen, I've been sorting them out like the t-shirts alone and the pants alone. And I've been like, when I wash them, I wash them in out. When I hang them still in out, but when I'm going to iron, I first put them in, uh, like, uh, I, I, yeah, I first put them in out still, okay? The one, the part that have been outside, I put it inside. Hope you got me. So here we go. So when I have those, those tools, like the ironing, uh, that ironing tool, we call it pass others i don't know what they call it um so when i have that one it is my best by the way the one with 
you can put in, you can fill in water and you start ironing as you can see i was checking which position is the ac because i want to position myself when I, where i can get the ac so that i don't sweat while ironing uh, still as you saw me i was holding the stool uh, the ironing board, it is a little bit taller, I'm shorter than it, I can't fit it properly. So that tool helps me to be on the level that I want when I'm ironing. Some people you can use like uh, stools and you sit comfortably, you iron while seated. Others you can stand, others you can feel comfortable when you put down like you put down what you use, you lay down on the floor and you sit comfortably on the floor straight and you start ironing. So it depends on how you feel comfortable while ironing. We used to, to have like the ironing board, it was smaller than this one. And uh, it used it to give us like a uh, hard time when it comes like ironing the bed sheets. Uh, it could even go on the floor, okay? But for the case of this one, though it is taller than me, um, but I got a solution for it, obviously. That is the stool. I use the stool to stand on it so that I can fit well on it and I be on the level that I want so that I can iron comfortably. Though I'm standing, but I feel comfortable because um, I'm supported by that stool. So, ironing it is something that can, no, can it, it's, it is something that should not give you hard time, okay? Most especially these clothes that they do put inside um it has no like you should do this or you first do this or you do or you iron it like this or that no whether you are to start from the back whether you ask to start with a like um, a front part of it for it it doesn't have the do's and don'ts so that is the precious thing I can say. It shouldn't give you headache. And most so, when I have that ironing tool, where I can feel water, where you have to use the water most, like steaming, it works for me very well. So, have you ever used the one without, the one that you don't feel in the water? And you could take a lot of time. But as you can, you can notice me, I'm like ironing once because I'm steaming. Uh, I'm steaming one time and it is clear and straight. Then I change. It is so, so, so easy. So someone might say that for us, we don't have that one. Yeah, you can talk to your people all the people you are working for and you tell them because at times we we get some challenges that can affect even our bodies for example if at all i didn't get that true i would hang myself up you understand i would hang my hands and i i, I would get maybe back pain or hand pain or the arms would get problems because uh, it was up where I couldn't fit well with a, a level uh, to hold that pass and I start doing my work. So everything have got a solution. Where you cannot access like anything that can suit you to do the work well, you can talk to your people and tell them at least you want to sit while ironing, okay? You tell them to give you a seat where you can be comfortably doing your work. Mm? So when we work in a good condition or when the place is suitable for us, why can't we provide or why can't we do? 
the good job for them. So everything have got a solution. Don't fear to tell them. And even if you, you need like um, uh, the ironing tool that you can use to steam those clothes, still you can talk to them because it is easier and uh, yeah, easy. You can do your work within a few minutes. Secondly, when I'm doing my work like ironing, I don't do this work when there is some work to do. I always do this during my free time. For example, we always like leave work in the evening, like uh, we do our work uh, and finish up quickly. So we always have all that time. So I can decide to do that work because I know no one, I'm in no one's time. But during, maybe still I can do that when they are sleeping. Okay, because I know when they are sleep, still sleeping, uh, I can do my work. Uh, no matter how many time I'm going to spend, because I know no one, I'm not on tension, and no one is likely to call me before I finish what I'm doing. So I always get my own time. I don't want to be interrupted or disrupted by others, and I don't want like uh, when. Um, they need me i don't want to say that yeah, maybe i'm doing something else okay i'm always available for them in their own time and i'm always i always do my job in my own time uh this comes to answer a question to those who always ask me i'm always on the phone when do you do your work as you can see hmm? I have one stone, but it's like I'm hitting two birds with one stone. I'm working at the same time I'm taking video. Okay? So to those who always tell me that I'm always on phone, every time on phone, 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 I'm making videos, videos, just to notice this, that I'm always having one stone, but ready to hit two birds at a go. Thirdly, what I can tell you, um, some people we always wait for these people to tell us, do this, do that, or do the other, okay? That is also, it is going to stress you. Once you wait for them to tell you what to do, like three people might call you at one time. You come and do this. Come and do this. Before you finish, another one needs you. And yet, at times, you are alone in the house. So to avoid this, or when you get your own time and you do your things, and you leave their time, or you rest in the time whereby when you're resting, if they call you, at least you get to know that I'm done with what I was supposed to do. So once you wait for them to call you to do what you, what you can even see that you're supposed to do it without even them telling you to do it, it is going to be hard for you. And you're going to get tired, by the way. This is why we always get some people like complaining that ah, I'm not yet finishing what I'm doing. This one, Baba is calling me, baby is calling me. The other one is calling me. Even the one who is seated near the remote wants me to come and give it to her. You understand? So always create your own time. You're going to enjoy your work at your own pace. Uh, to do a better good job, or to organize, you have to organize yourself. Organize your day. Eh? Not like uh, if I get time, if I get time. No, when you wake up in the morning and you know this is what I start with, hmm? I will go clean the house after the house. I will maybe eat breakfast or you start, whatever you start with, that is organizing yourself. Organize your day. Don't just randomly say, ah, let me go and I do this. No. 
for me it's better when i postpone something and i do it on the next day than just waking up in the morning i'm like ah let me go and i do this i do this it won't come out like when i have organized myself it's better when you know this time i'm going to do this after i will go and do this after i will do the other so it's better that way that is the organization it can also lead to your to to make your work more easier than when you you just randomly do things at any time you at any time you wish you understand you, you you might even make like you disorganize people are likely to disorganize you fine but when you are organized uh, you'll make it because you know at first i wanted to do this and just you know this was more important more important like it was yeah it was supposed to be done uh and this came out at least the other one which was which can be postponed or which you can even do the next day you can at least leave it out and do it the next day so that is the organization you need when you start your day when you are doing your work oh what amazing you understand so when i'm doing this and another thing another tip i can give out to those who can like use their phones while working yeah you can use your phone as you listen something hmm? when your attention your mind is put on what you are listening you might end up finishing very fast without even knowing to those who love gospel music to those who love like uh, uh, other music you can put and listen while doing your work oh there are some inspirational like people you can listen to as you do your work so a meaning to those who who can access their phones or who are allowed to work while while using their phones that one can push your work um and you finish very fast but to those who don't then don't use phones when you're working because not all of them love to see their housemates with the phones but still you can use your phone and still do your work very well or the way they want you the way they want their work to be done if only they can allow us to use our phones uh it won't be like every time that we are having them but then you might have it when you do your work and when you know that you can do it very quickly and yeah you produce a better good work for them and what i can tell you guys never say it's hard for me to do that once you put that in mind uh you might fail even because it is in your mind once you keep it in, in your mind and you say i cannot do that you will end up failing so let us leave this mentality of saying i cannot do that always say i can eh uh, always say i can let me do that just wake up one day and just know you are there in the house alone you are supposed to do this this no one is going to help you so always put in mind that i can do that though i'm alone just organize your day the way you want it to be you can iron those clothes to those who say it's hard it's always that is a mentality or that is the thing that you put in your mind that you cannot iron or oh, it's hard for you it's like the part of a housework you don't like to do and it's more it, it is in most housemates we always when we hear someone saying that ah ironing is hard for me hmm? we also keep it in our minds that it is hard when i was 
I've ever been in a school, so I once heard some people saying that mathematics was very hard for them. So once I went to the class and I sat down, so the teacher started like teaching and I was like, they said it is hard. So I could spend the whole lesson without getting something. Because it was in me, people used to say that it was hard, okay? But once you sit down, listen, and you, ha you leave that one, and for you, you put in your mind and say it is not hard, you will catch up or you will get it. So that is it. This is Mercy Mercy Full 21. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I salute you all. I'm in my last days. So I came across a, like a comment. Someone was like, how do you do your learn your iron and what? So I thought of like before I leave this place, I should do this. Okay. And hopefully it will land on someone who was asking. So let us always put in our mind that everything is easy. And we, it, they are doable, we can do them. Hmm? Only that if you put in your mind that I cannot and you will fail to do it. So easy. Just organize. Organize yourself. It is something that looks simple, but still you have to organize yourself. Uh, not just like when you... You put all the clothes in the one basket and you just randomly pick the t-shirt, you pick the dress, you pick the t-shirt. No, you sort them, say these are clothes, I mean these are dresses, these are pants, these are t-shirts. Let me start with uh, maybe dresses, I will go on the t-shirts, I will go on the pants and you will end up finishing. Okay, so that is it. To those who are new and you're, you're planning to come, you come, guys. Mm. Come. You come and do the work. It is daily work, every day, every day work. Some people, we do get tired, but just to know that is what you're supposed to do every day. Eh? Have you ever done something every day, every day, and you feel like you're tired? So someone will ask me, why do we eat every day, every day, and we don't get tired of eating? So the same applies to this work that we do. We do them every day, but we have never finished them. Now I'm planning to go back home. Someone else will come and do the same thing. You understand? So these are the things that will never be done, actually. <laughs> While you are washing clothes, uh, other people are putting clothes, dirty clothes in the basket still waiting for you to take them and wash them. So daily work, uh, you just get used to them because you know it is daily. You will have to do it daily. Hmm? Yeah, some people they do wash every day, iron every day. So there are things, those major things, we cannot spend the whole day without doing. Otherwise, I wish you all the best. I love you so much. Thank you so much to those who have been with me from the beginning till the end. Uh, there is nothing that we, we, we can never, never come to its end anyway. Though some work we do, we can never finish them. But at least for us on, who, who are on contracts, we have come to the end of it. Thank you so much for loving me. I also love you so much. I wish you all the best. Salute. Bye-bye.